Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Hoffman and welcome to the Dose of Bliss show where we give you daily doses of bliss. Today I am with celebrity makeup artist Nakia. Thank you so much for being here today. Oh, thank you for having me. So I just want to start a little bit about, you know, what you do and the celebrities that you have worked with, um, you know, for makeup. Wow, what I do as a makeup artist of 18 years, I've worked with so many people. But to name a few, Harrison Ford, uh, Pierce Bronson, Mike Epps, Shaka Khan. Um, oh my God, it's so many, so many amazing people. It's been a dynamic journey, I will say. Most of my clients have been men because I specialize in men's grooming and, um, but I love glam too. So it is, you know, it's all fun to me and it, it's work, but it's fun work. That's so cool. So my show's all about achieving your dreams. So how did you get, I mean, everyone obviously starts at the same place. So how did you get from you know, being a regular person to working with people like Harrison Ford? Well, I will say, you know, working, I'm from Dallas, Dallas, uh, Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth. And I started working with the Dallas Cowboys and doing Super Bowl commercials and working in film and TV there and doing print work for AT&T and Coca-Cola and a lot of commercial work. And then I got the call one day from Harrison Ford Productions and I was off to Hollywood and I got here and I knew this is where I belong. And so, you know, after working with Harrison Ford, my career went to a whole new level. I launched a makeup school because I also love to teach. I love to train makeup artists and uh, women in general just to look and feel their absolute best. And uh, started the academy. And along the way, I decided to develop my own organic cosmetics. I know. Store. I'm wearing the lipstick right now, too. Yeah, I'm really excited. She beautiful. still has the brush in her hand. <laughs> it was like the best day ever. I was like, oh my God. Always oh my ready God. to paint. Always ready. <laughs> so, I was looking on your Instagram and you have like a story. It says something about like a screwdriver. Oh of how, my God. how long ago was this first <laughs> off? And I want you to share the story of what it took to get here because we're looking at you now, the success and, you know, living the dream, but people don't really know what goes into that. They really don't. You know, when I think about the screwdriver, you know, I kept that screw screwdriver. That was in 2006. And my car was stolen the night I was the night I was supposed to stop and get gas. I was so tired. And I said, you know what? I'll stop in the morning. I was scheduled to leave Dallas to go to L.A. So this was when you were got the call from Harrison Ford and yes. you were going to come to L.A. Actually, I got the call or from another director for a film that was filming in Venice to be depart makeup department head for that particular film. Mm -hmm. And when I got that call, I said, you know what? This is it for me. I am leaving Texas. I'm off to Hollywood. I was so excited. And the next morning I went out to my car to drive to L.A. and my car was gone. That's crazy. <laughs> so I, my uncle said, you have to go. I had literally less than 48 hours to be on set. The production company had no idea that I was from Texas, that I was in Texas. Oh my God, that's, that's what happens when you have a dream. You don't always tell them all the details. Right. You're like, I'm, I'll be, can you be there tomorrow? You're like, yeah, yes. I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh my God. So I, my car was gone and they found my car on the side of the road because the, the thief ran out of gas. That's crazy. So my uncle said, you know what? You got to go. He gave me a <laughs> screwdriver. He stuck it in the ignition and he said, no matter what happens, don't let that screwdriver fall out. So <laughs> I drove from Dallas all the way to L.A. with the screwdriver holding it for like 26 hours yeah, just yeah, rolling. And I pulled up to set with my kid like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> like nothing's wrong. Nothing's you got wrong. here. <laughs> So the screwdriver, it's now old and rusty, but it got me here. So you still have it? You I, keep still, it I kept memory. it for memories. That's yes. so good. <laughs> well, what do you, like, so what made you push through all that? Because a lot of people would be like, my car is stolen and just call and like give up. What yes. do you think is different within yourself where you're just like, you know, you're laughing about it. You're like, my car is stolen. I'm going to find it. I'm going to drive with the screwdriver. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to get a new key. I'm just going to like, I got to go. Well, I will say I knew that uh, I, my career plateaued in Dallas. When I say that, I'd work with, you know, the local celebrities. I've done all the weddings I could do. I've done all the commercials I could do. And it was either work in corporate America, which my, my background is business, work in corporate America or go for your dream and move to L.A. and and do what you love. So it was do or die for me. And I think knowing that alone, either I was going to be stuck here working a nine to five or I was going to have to have the opportunity to work in Los Angeles and live my dream and and make people beautiful, make people feel beautiful. It was very, very intense for me. So I, I felt like by any means necessary, I have to get there. I think yeah. that's really like, I really love that story. So I think that's the most important thing. Cause a lot of people be like, why aren't my dreams coming true? And it's like, well, look at her. Like you drove with a screwdriver in your car, your car was stolen, but that's what it took for you to get to where you needed to be. Absolutely. And you had a phone call and you made it happen. Yes. 
I had to. It was it was not an option. And I share that story with all my students, and even with other makeup artists and other people in general who say, you know, well, this is happening in my life, and I hear all the excuses, and then I share my story, and I say, you know what? No excuses by any means necessary. I drove all the way by myself for over 26 hours alone, a young single female with a screwdriver That's holding right. it. And I, of course my hand was like- Wait, so you held it for the 26 I hours? Because if, it, fell, if it had fallen out, the way the guy had popped the ignition column, if it had fallen out, the car was gonna fall down. So you didn't even like sleep? You just drove straight? I had to. I was, I was so afraid that if, if I turned the car off, I wouldn't be able to turn it back on again and I wouldn't make it to LA. That's crazy. So I drove the entire time. I stopped for coffee, left the car running, and That's I'm like crazy. holding it in the drive through at, at all the little Burger Kings along the way. That's and, crazy. Yeah, it was it was interesting. My hand hurt for a very long time, but you know what? I got here. I it walked on set. It. it was so worth it. And me and that particular director, Billy Joseph, we've remained friends, and he's dynamic. Does he know that story now? And he knows now <laughs> that I, it's on Instagram. He's like, what? Because he thought I lived in L.A. He didn't even know. He didn't even know. He didn't even know. And I said, I'm not telling. <laughs> <laughs> but now he worked out, and he probably has more respect for you after hearing he that says, story. He, 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 definitely, he definitely has a lot of respect for my my passion and my drive and now you know the following my dream and developing this amazing line so yeah so what made you get into the beauty business and what made you decide to start your own business you know it really stumbled upon me because I'm, a, I'm from a family of nurses my mother's a nurse my grandmother and my family everybody is in the healthcare business of some sort and and they're like you're gonna be a nurse you there's no other option and I remember being in college and my parents did not know that I literally quit the nursing program and transferred over to the business program because I knew this is not for me. The sight of blood makes me weak, I'm gonna pass out. I went to clinicals and in the labor room, delivery room, a patient was having a baby and I literally, I was on the floor. Uh -huh. So I knew this is not for You're me. You're like, I'm gonna do your makeup so you look up for the picture. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And so after that, you know, it was interesting because my dorm room, and I mentioned that um, in some of my posts, my dorm room in college was the makeup room. Ladies would line up to get my, my famous wing eyeliner, mm -hmm. or they would line up to get lashes. But I never knew that it could be a career, that I could make a living doing this. But it was always in me. So when I started working in corporate America, ladies would be lined up at my desk to get makeup tips. My boss would come to my desk on Fridays before dinner with her husband to get her makeup done. So we're in this little cubicle <laughs> and I'm doing makeup. And then it was just like, this is great. And then I started working for MAC Cosmetics and different cosmetic brands. And I said, this is who I am. I discovered, you know, I tried to hide it and I put on a business suit. And I said, there has to be a way that I can mix business and beauty. How do you mix the two? Because most artists are very creative minds, but the business side, someone else normally yeah. handles. So I discovered it's very rare that you mix the two, but it is possible. And that's why I am now. And that's what you did. So yeah. what does it take to get something like this actually started because a lot of people oh. have a dream and like having a product and testing the stuff and making it and it takes a lot but a lot of knowledge I'm a makeup nerd I even during my Mac cosmetics days I would study the ingredients book I'm an ingredient junkie I want to know what's in it I want to know who made it I want to know what lab you what lab it comes from I want to know the manufacturer and I want to know the, the name the person behind the manufacturer I need to know the gut the heart the juice of the ingredients of the products. That's what matters to me. And so with that being said, I knew I began to research about 15 years ago. And then 10 years ago, I said, you know what? Okay, now you take the ingredient and you put it in this bottle and you do this and you do. So I began to put the pieces together. And then I said, how am I gonna make this happen? Oh, I'll just start a school. I'll just start a school. I, you know, this seems very, very <laughs> You're difficult. You're like, I'll just start a school. So, you know, started the school. I've trained over 5,000 um, young men and women from around the world. Um, the academy has been phenomenal. <clears throat> but then there was also- And what's the academy called? Oh, Nakia's Academy yeah. of Makeup. <laughs> Nakia's Academy of Makeup, my baby, uh, formerly All About Face Academy, but I wanted to merge my two companies together. So I merged them together. And now we have Nakia Cosmetics of Hollywood and Nakia's Academy of Makeup, where we train uh, men and women from all over the world, makeup artists and women from all over the world where I train and I actually travel as well to do the training. And I said, I'm not happy with some of the makeup that we're using. It's either taking too much uh, time to mix it for it to set. There was always something missing. So finally, a friend of mine said, why don't you do your own line? And I said, oh, I, I want to, but I'm not sure. 
And then I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. One day I said, I'm going to give it a shot because so many different cosmetic brands were calling me to book me to educate or to help them develop a line. So it was yeah, like, it's like, why do it for someone else when you can do it for yourself? There you go. And so I said, OK, I'll do it. I'll give it a shot. So I tried it. I started with my students in the classroom and they were like, oh, my God, this foundation is amazing. And then I started shooting with it with different photographers. And the photographer would say, oh, my God, I don't have to do any Photoshop. The skin. Yeah, your skin amazing. is like perfect right Thank now. Thank you. Thank you. So I realized that skin and foundation is my is my baby. It's my specialty. It's what I, I live and breathe for. So I put all that energy, all that love, all that passion into this little bottle. Yeah. Uh, I like how you think of it that way, too. It's like love, passion, and energy. Like you look at a product, you don't really know like what's what's in it. And right. you think about the love behind the person yes, that you're putting in it. Totally. So there's a lot of love in this little bottle. The feedback has been amazing, has been overwhelming. And I am excited. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, my God, this is really happening. This when did you start this? this is I actually really started newer. several years. I started the process. Let me say this several years ago, about five years ago. And then from there on, I said, you know, it was in a little frosted bottle and it wasn't keeping it as fresh as I wanted it to, as we needed to. to. So I changed the packaging. So then I took a little break and I began to research packaging. Can we get a glass bottle? Can we get a pump so that a lot of makeup isn't wasted? Um, how do we keep the makeup uh, fresh to make sure that it lasts long, to make sure that it looks amazing on the skin? Even if the client leaves the house at 8 in the morning, she may not, he or she may not return until that night, but we still need that person to look fresh and amazing without having to do constant touch-ups. You know, especially with entertainers and actors, we're under lights and we're moving around. And, you know, even moms, you know, moms are on the go. They're taking the kids to school or women in business. They're running their business or they're working all day. No one has time to stop and touch up and re-add. So packaging is everything. It means a lot. So got rid of the frosted container, got this baby, began to test it out even more. And when you have a-listers, when you have women all over the world, when you have men who don't wear makeup but they have to yeah. for work say, this feels so good. I feel like I don't have anything on. Oh, my, my headshots look amazing. Then you're like, okay, we got a winner. And, I like and, and no bad reports, no breakouts. So it, it's just exciting. I like, you can see the passion of your dream. And I think what I like about the most about what you're saying is that you asked yourself, you had a goal and you were like, how am I going to do this goal? And so your idea of how you were going to achieve your goal was to create a school. Yes. And that's something I like to talk about with people a lot is there's a lot of different routes that you could do to become a makeup artist, to have your own line. Yes. But you chose to research and become, to create a school to get to this point that you yes. always wanted to get to. Yes. Totally. The Academy was interesting because people would call me all the time and say, hey, I want to take a makeup class or can you teach me how to do makeup? I've had VPs of other cosmetic brands to, to call me and say, hey, or, you know, can you come in and do some training for us? And I said, OK, so finally, um, I did teach at another local school here in L.A. when I first came to Los Angeles and I went in that school and I said, these beautiful young women aren't learning. They aren't really learning the art of makeup, they are given a picture and they are told to remake, create that picture and that's it. But learning technique, learning the skill, learning why, learning the different forms of makeup. You have beauty, you have fashion, you have beauty editorial, you have bridal, you have men's grooming, you have ethnic beauty, you have cultural beauty, you have, there's so many different facets to being a makeup artist. But they're just given a picture and said, go. Where's the knowledge? They don't even know, a lot of those young ladies didn't even know what is a day rate? What is a half day? Yeah, people don't know those things. I find that too. I mean, right. working as like a host and working yeah. in digital media um, in the community, people don't know even how to ask for money or how to negotiate right. that, like the basic things. And right. that's like, you know, I know we're talking about makeup and things, but at the core of like your success, you have to know and research and yes. take time out of your way yes. to get to that level. Like you're not here on accident. Like, you know, you fought through the screwdriver. Yes. You researched everything you could do. You know, you went from every angle and when something wasn't how you wanted it, you didn't just say, oh, it's not how I want it. You yeah. found out why it was that way. And so much so that you now are to the point where you can show other people yes. to be that way. Yes. And it's an honor. It's it's totally an honor. And I, I enjoy every moment of it. Like I said, I live for it. I wake up every day like, OK, 
what are we doing today? Who, who are we training? And what are we doing for the makeup line? And I realized that it's who I, I am and it's who, who I was born to be. Yeah, so, yeah, and that the core of it is like, that's when your dream, and I think that's the biggest tip about creating yeah. your own business and yeah. going for your dreams is you have to go for what's passionate yes. to you. Because I can tell, I wish you guys could feel like sitting here right now. <laughs> she is so happy. Like, I can just imagine, she only has to do my lips today, but I can imagine if she did your whole face, like, that energy is not just the beauty that it makes you look like the energy that she puts into it you feel and the energy that's you know put into every product you don't realize that the people behind something yeah. is really what is the magic like behind it and that's what i'm learning is you that's so so great that you said that because i'm learning that because i'm asking different people in the world what would you like to see more for my brand and the feedback has been you. Nakia, we want oh, more yeah, of you. That's what we need. Do more videos, give us more of you. And I'm like, no, I wanna See, get we got a video, we got one right here. This is the start of that manifesting <laughs> right? now. It totally is. That's my team said, you're going on the show. I'm like, me? I just wanna do her makeup. Let me just make her look good. They're like, no, you're sure. going on the show. I'm like, oh God, here we go. I'm such a behind the scenes person because I love what I do and I love making other people look good. But now um, it's time for you to shine. I'll take it. <laughs> so we only have a few minutes left. So what's okay. the last thing, uh, before we get into where people can find you, what's the last yes. thing you want to leave, the message you want to leave people with? I want to leave people with the message of when you get up every day, it's, I want you to understand that when you look good, number one, you feel good. It's important to know what's in our makeup bag. My brand is organic. It's paraben free. Uh, it's animal cruelty free. We do not test on animals. We care about each and every person that purchases this, this cosmetic, that wears this cosmetic it's brand, Nakia Cosmetics cosmetics of Hollywood. And I think it's very important that every woman understands and every every person understands, male or female, that knowing the ingredients of the product is very crucial. And, and having someone that you can trust, that you know knows what is in this little bottle. Because makeup is the number one cancer cause, has the number one cancer causing ingredients that a lot of people in the world don't realize. So it's important to just know what you're buying, what you're using, what you're putting on your face. Yeah, it's like So face. I want to say that and just to look good and feel good. Be fabulous. Enjoy life. Yeah, you are fabulous. You got to have the energy of you. So can you let everyone know where they can find you and where they can find your products? Yes. You can look right, over yeah. here. Here we go. <laughs> Nakia Cosmetics of Hollywood. And on Instagram, at Nakia Cosmetics of Hollywood. Website, www.nakia cosmetics.com we're coming to your local sephora ulta Ooh. and look for future stores yes yeah. she's a big look deal for future stores so i'm very very excited about the global launch and uh, follow me on instagram hit me up I, I check the dms along with my team and i would love to hear from yeah, you guys follow her she is amazing Ooh. and the stuff is amazing so thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video which i hope you did be sure to subscribe give it a thumbs up follow it on it's on all platforms wherever you're watching it follow it and be sure to binge it all um, focustvnetwork.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys next time. Bye.